Hey everybody, it's Mindy. And I have a package here and I'm gonna unbox this and show it to you. I'm interested, I'm very interested. I was contacted by them and I was rather surprised when I was contacted by them because this is paint with diamonds. Now, if you've been around diamond painting for a while, you may have heard people say bad things about paint with diamonds, had a bad experience. I know that paint with diamonds used to be um, double-sided adhesive. I did order one, okay? Then there was the issue with licensing. Well, Paint With Diamonds, I, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna give them some credit here. They are licensing art, all right? They are licensing art, I know that is true. It's based on artists that I know. They're licensing artwork. They have switched from double-sided adhesive to poured glue. And this will be a poured glue canvas. So. When I was contacted and asked if I wanted to show something, I said, yes, let this be my experience. Let me share what I see here. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. Here is my picture that I got. It's not a great picture, but there is a picture there. It's called America's Heartland. See barns and birds and yeah, my kind of thing, right? So I wanna get into it and I wanna see what I think, what my experience is. I did order one from them, um, when I heard that they had licensed Sheena Pike, I ordered a Sheena Pike that was double-sided adhesive. With paint, with diamonds, you can, oh, now we got more, more plastic to get through, okay. Um, you can pick your size. Some people like that, some people don't. You can pick square, round, you have choice. Some people don't like to have that choice. They don't know what size would be good. Um, I like it. I like being able to, to decide what I want what size I think will work, okay? So this is their box. I believe this is a nice new box. Oh, look at all this pretty stuff here. Your diamonds packed. Oh, are they, are they individually packaged? Ooh. Pen, tweezers, all the stuff you'll get. Let your mind wander. It's got a nice little box. Directions, join their club. Here's all their social media and stuff. So, I mean, that all looks really nice. I don't remember if mine came in a box like this. I don't even, I didn't keep the box because it was double-sided adhesive. I took it out, got it flat, and I hung it up. That's what I did. So, I don't even have that box. <laughs> All right, I like that on the bottom of the box is a picture of my canvas, what I got. It's a 60 by 40, all right? I thought 60 by 40 was gonna turn out nice for this image. All right, let's check it out and see what we get. Oh, I like this. This is how it comes in the box. I like this. I like when paintings come just rolled around your drills. That's my favorite way. Keeps them from creasing and things like that. I love that. Okay, there's everything out of the box. Um, their canvas is, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's an oil canvas. It's not super thick. Um, I like it, all right? Okay, let's get this open, see what we get. Okay, I'm gonna have to roll it backwards a little just to make those edges lay flat. So let me do that real quick. Poured glue, look at that, you guys. It is poured glue. Okay, let me roll it backwards. Oh my gosh, the legend on this thing. Woo, the legend's amazing. Okay, got it rolled backwards. Let's look at this stuff while we let that sit for a second. So what is this? Welcome to the family, how to get started, information, directions, affiliate programs, promises, all the stuff here, just like a little brochure. What is this? What is, it? oh, look at that. Wow, that's nice. Wow, that is nice. So we have this big colored sheet. This is just paper, okay, just a, a sheet of paper. But that's our image, the flowers, the trees, the birds, the barn, really cool. And then over here are your symbols. So if you have like a Xyron sticker maker, you could run this through your sticker maker and make labels for your containers, which would be nice. DMC codes, your symbols, etc. Okay, I like that. That's good, all right? Let's look at their toolkit. Here's our drills. Oh my gosh, you see what I see? Baggies, I love baggies. I'm all about that, okay? Here's their toolkit. 
And it says, paint with diamonds, let your mind wander, toolkit. It tells you what's included. We'll just show you what's included. <laughs> All right, let's get it out. Let's see. Okay. You notice there's no baggies in here because, well, your baggies are right there. <laughs> okay, here's their tray. Look, has their name. We have a squishy. We have a pen. We have tweezers, sharp, pointy tweezers. All right. Um, we have one heart wax and we have two multi-placers, a four placer and a seven placer at the white thin ones. Perfect. Those are my favorite. Not a bad toolkit. Everything you need is here to diamond paint and you got some multi-placers and everything. Nice. All right. Come on, get in there. Go back in. <laughs> All right. This one, okay, this is what I'm going to do with this. I'll tell you right now because I'm going to try out a section. Because of this, because mine are pre-bagged, these are round, I'm going to, oops, sorry, I'm going to try out a small corner and let you know how it's turning out. So look, see, look at that legend. Holy cow, got a picture up here. Here's your color list. It's huge. 42 colors, America's Heartland, James Houtman. Okay, that is who this is licensed through. There you go. All right, down here again, all of the information. They have insurance, satisfaction guaranteed, rewards program, all the stuff. We have another legend over here, their logo, their slogan, all that stuff. What do you think? What do you think? Now, let's see. It's supposed to be what? Does it have the measurements on here? 45 by 60, is that what I said? Oh, 60 by 40. Now, is it a 60 by 40? Well, let's find out. Let's see. All right. Picture to picture, edge to edge. That's inches. I don't know. Nope, this is inches. Okay, we're good. Um, 60 almost. It is 59 and three quarters. Uh, I'll give them that. 59 and three quarters. So it's going to measure pretty much true to size. Close enough to be called true to size. Very pretty. Look how it looks. It looks really nice. Right? Here's my birds the barn, the flowers. Very nice. It looks good. Doesn't it look good? I'm sure you want to see the drill field. Let's look at the drill field. Let's see, what do we have for our symbols? We got all kinds of symboly, like straight up symbols. We have some letters, R, U, M. Anything confusing? I don't think so. Lowercase h, a G. I just don't think anything there looks like it could be confused. All right, all right, let's look at it. I'm gonna pull the plastic back. We'll get up there and we'll look at our drill field. Okay, let me make this focus for us first. Let's focus. Okay. What do you think? Now I do notice it's all black lettering. Nope, that's not true. I'm, I'm wrong. These have white. The G, now oh, you can see the G. The R. Hmm. They're just on a square of color. No guide circles. Everything looks like you can see it. I don't I don't think I'll have any trouble seeing any of those. So symbols look clear. Plastic is a little thicker. I like that. I Wow, okay, I can't complain yet. Can you? I mean, I have so far, this is good, right? Let's look at the drills. It has the number here and the size, the number of our kit. So what I wanna do is I wanna put a few drills on this one, like maybe this corner over here and just see what it starts to look like. Because the proof of a good painting is when you get the drills on. Do you have trouble with the drills? How do the drills look? Let's see. Well, let's find a bag that I can look a little easier. Let's see. What do we think? Wow. I mean, they look great. I don't see anything weird looking in there. I don't see strange sizes or anything. They all look uniform. They look nice. You got to try them though. That's the proof when you try it, right? All of them have the DMC code on the bag. I would make stickers and put the 
um, symbol on here, right? Beautiful colors. We'll look at another one up close in a second. All right, they look great. I, I gotta put some drills on this and show you guys, see how it's gonna turn out. How about a bright yellow, what do we think? I mean, they do look good, right? Oh, one's trying to get away here. All right, a sage green. So when, when you have baggies, sometimes the bag gets closed before all of your little drills get inside. So just check them, open it up, squish them in there, say, get in your bag, stay safe. <laughs> Love this color. Okay, they look good. I've, I've got to try it. So that'll be the next thing I do. I will put some drills on this and I will let you know what I think. I'll get a little corner done over here because when it's pre-bagged, that's easy to do. I just pull out bags and I work on it a little bit. I can do that. Maybe I should do a bird. What do you think? <laughs> We're kind of bird. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. I think we got chickadees down here and we have bluebirds up here. Nice, nice. Okay, you guys, so far, everything looks good. All right, they've made improvements. They've got poured glue. They're licensing artwork. Um, you, you decide, what do you think? Let me know if you've done a paint with diamonds. This is only the second one I've ever received. Like I said, I bought a sheen of pike on double-sided adhesive. Um, and this is my first experience with their poured glue. What does it feel like? What does it, I mean it, I know there are people who talk about poured glues being different, that there's some they call like a skater glue and everything slides around a lot. Other glue is thick and it just like slogs your drills down. Some is really super sticky and it's hard to move them. I'll let you know what this one's like, okay? Maybe I'll put on a couple drills before the end of this and I'll show you a little bit at the end. That's a good plan. Let me do that and I'll show you just a few drills anyhow. As you can tell, I have been working on it, right? Here's my colors I didn't use, <laughs> but I worked with these colors here, okay? So I worked with about five colors and I put some drills down. So let me show you what it looks like. Let's zoom you in here, look, they're super sparkly. I love that about them, super sparkly, okay? All right, let me see if I can zoom you in and get this clear. All right, there we go. See how sparkly they are? They're really nice. I, I got rounds, like I said. Um, I'm always gonna try rounds first before squares, of course. I haven't had any trouble with the drills, really. I had one drill that had like gotten smooshed, you know, and had the little extra flashing down there. Um, but they all seem to be pretty uniform in size, no unusual trash in there. Um, they look great. Ah, you guys, I, I really, I, I have one, one little critique and it's easily fixed. All right. There is a symbol over here. Let's see, where is it? Okay. This one right here, this dark blue one. And I can see it in the camera, but it's an H. That H was a little hard to read. Now, if I put this on a light pad, I have no trouble with that symbol. That's the only one I've seen so far that gave me any pause and a light pad would just clear it right up. What do you think? They're super shiny. I love that. They're rounds, of course, so we have a little leeway with them fitting together. It's not a square. You know, maybe next time I try a square, see how that goes, but I, what do you think? I mean, I'm like so far so good. I, I, I'm not finding any issues, okay? All right, um, if you wanna give them a try, this is my experience so far. Um, that's what I have for you, all right? I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked that I came back and showed you some progress on it and talked about it. Oh, the glue, the glue is, um, you can move things around on it. Um, it's not too sticky and uh, not too thick. It was, it's a nice little glue. I had no problems with the glue. All right. Okay. Hope you enjoyed. 
Um, if you're new here and you enjoyed this, think about subscribing. Hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you're one of my regulars, well, thanks for watching. Okay? I will talk to everybody soon. All right? Bye, everybody.